हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो विल अर्न अ थ्री फेज डिजिटल एम्पेयर मीटर कनेक्शन इन विच विल अर्न अ हाउ टू डू प्रॉपर कनेक्शन ऑफ करंट ट्रांसफॉर्मर आर सी टी विद डिजिटल एम्पेयर मीटर एंड हाउ टू सेट करंट ट्रांसफॉर्मर रेशियो एंड डिजिटल एम्पेयर मीटर इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल मेजर करंट ऑफ थ्री फेज इंडक्शन मोटर इन दिस डिजिटल एम्पेयर मीटर फॉर दिस वी कनेक्ट वन डी ओ एल स्टार्टर फर्स्ट से हाउ डिजिटल एम्पेयर मीटर मेजर करंट ऑफ द रेट विल लर्न अ प्रॉपर कनेक्शन व्हेन पावर इज ऑन एंड मोटर इन रनिंग कंडीशन इट शोस ऑल थ्री फेस करंट यू कैन वॉच हियर एंड फॉर मेजरिंग एक्यूरेट करंट वी नीड टू सेट सीटी रेशियो सो बाय प्रेसिंग सेट बटन यू कैन डायरेक्टली सेट सीटी रेशियो इन दिस वीडियो वी यूज फिफ्टी बाय फाइव रेशियो सी so we need to set upper ratio of current transformer that means we need to set 50 and your current transformer ratio should be correct otherwise your current measurement is not accurate in this video we use tens electronic dja 96t model digital ampere meter tens electronic is turkey electronic company which made all electrical and electronics good quality product now learn about digital ampere meter here you can watch all three phase ampere here in l1 l2 l3 and for measuring accurate current we need to connect current transformer or ct here is we have ct and ct could be any of the model you can see here ct could be any type of ct you need to first read ratio of ct this is 100 by 5 ct and it is 50 by 5 ct in this video we use 50 by 5 ratio ct for measuring current in this ampere meter you have three keys set key up and down when you press set key your current transformer ratio here and by setting current transformer ratio you need to press up and down key and by pressing up and down key you can set your current transformer ratio and current transformer ratio should be accurate otherwise accurate current will not measure now learn ampere meter connection in this ampere meter we have some connectors here first for operating ampere meter we need to connect a line and neutral you can watch here we need to connect a line and neutral here for operating ampere meter and a voltage should be 150 volt to 240 volt so for operating ampere meter we need to connect a line and neutral and for measuring current of any conductor or phase wire we need to connect a current transformer because we measuring three phase current so we need to connect a three current transformer or three ct you can watch here we have three ct and ct ratio is most important concept first learn a current transformer this is a current transformer primary side and it is a secondary you can see here s1 and s2 in some city it could be k1 and l1 okay it is a secondary of current transformer which we need to connect in our ampere meter connectors which conductor you want to measure current first you need to connect with current transformer inside after that you can output and need to connect ampere meter okay it is a very simple connection now for measuring three phase current we need to connect a three transformer in first phase or l1 first we need to connect to one current transformer for l2 and l3 we need to connect to one one current transformer and all current transformer output we need to connect in ampere meter now by using this ampere meter you can connect a 5 by 5 ct to 5000 by 5 amp ratio ct but that means you can measure very high amount of current by using this ampere meter in this first learn the setup this is a motor starter we want to measure current with this induction motor you can measure any of the panel current or any of the load current by this ampere meter okay it is a motor starter now it is a selector switch by which we can start our motor starter you can also connect the push button okay now first understand connection we connect rybb three phase first connect rybb three phase in contactor which is very simple it is a power wiring and output of our overload relay connect to the motor directly okay power wiring is very simple 
now understand control wiring in control mc we connect first neutral and connect a neutral directly the contactor a1 point okay neutral connected directly and we connect a phase connector here and connect to the selector switch no element when we press selector switch the phase comes to the overload relay ANC point because when our motor takes more current overload relay trips it and out overload relay ANC output connect to the contactor magnetic coil now first is a simple operation when MCB is on okay when MCB is on and selector is operate our motor will start okay now when we start our selector our motor start you can watch here now if we want to measure current of this motor you need to connect an ampere meter and for ampere meter you need to connect a current transformer okay now learn how to connect current transformer to measure current first we need to connect three current transformer now understand digital ampere meter connection okay now power is off for operating digital ampere meter first we need to connect a line and neutral directly you can watch here which could be 150 volt to 240 volt ac okay so from control mcb we connect a neutral connector first now neutral connector connect here and connect to the neutral point very easily now neutral connection is done and for phase connection we connect one connector from phase wire and any of the phase you can connect any of the phase okay now connect a phase wire to the phase conductor okay now for measuring current first we need to connect current transformer and which conductor you want to measure current conductor should goes from current transformer p1 side okay it is very important primary side okay which conductor you want to measure current should enter for p1 okay so for first phase connector now we connect a phase r phase here and it should enter from p1 side okay now enter p1 side and connect to the load very easily current trans any conductor first enter from p1 side it is very important for accurate current measurement okay now for second phase we connect second ct okay now connecting to load and if you want to measure accurate current you can also connect to ct before circuit breaker or mcb now our third connector goes from third ct and enter from p1 site you can also connect this current transformer before mcb or circuit breaker okay now our secondary output of ct connection first ct s1 s2 or l1 k1 wire connect to the k1 l1 point okay and it should connect to k1 l1 sequence okay sequence should be same now k1 l1 connector from first current transformer now second current transformer out k1 l1 in some ct you can also watch s1 s2 okay both are same now k1 connector connect here and l1 connector connect here our two phase ct secondary output connection is done now for third ct k1 point connect here and l1 connector connect here now our all ct connection is done now see how it measures current first we need to set current transformer ratio okay now power mcb is on control mcb also on power is on you can see here now power is on now now at this time we don't set any of the ratio okay so current will be not perfect when we start it now current rating is not perfect because our motor full load current is 1.5 or 1.6 ampere it should show but because of current transformer ratio is not correct so for setting current transform we need to press set button you can see it here control ctr ratio and our ct ratio is 50 by 5 so we need to set upper limit of current transformer ratio which is 50 by 5 so need to connect a 50 okay as we set 50 
our motor current shows accurately here you can watch here so for measuring current you need to connect our set proper current transformer ratio if you set proper current transformer ratio your current will be measured accurately okay now by using this method you can connect any of the three phase digital ampere meter i hope you clear the concept of connection of three phase digital ampere meter also current transformer connection also setting of current transformer hope you like this video if you like this video please press like button if you have any query please ask in comments box for today's enough we'll meet next video thanks for watching